Good morning. Welcome to Margaret Bee Margaret. Can you believe I'm heading to church? This is the side yard at the house. I didn't mow it because I wasn't sure what it was. And it's this huge thing of whatever it is you guys can tell me. Really pretty though, huh? All right, let's take a ride. Margaret, I hear their final hymn. Sunday morning in a small town. This is Dighton Community Church. I wanted to give you a tour of this, so we're just waiting for them to file out. Is that what you said? And then Karen is going to stay and give us a tour. It is a beautiful, beautiful day in Massachusetts. Hope you all having a great weekend. I left Michael working hard at the house, saying bad words. Sometimes I don't like to be around when he's doing his work. Turned on the sprinklers for a little while before the sun came out. After I do the tour, talk to Karen for a little bit, and I'll go home and most likely work on the deck for a while. Poor Michael brought loads of laundry with him today because their washing machine died last week. Isn't it always something? All right, that gives you goosebumps. No, we start at right. 10. Uh, you're on video, is that okay? Yeah, it's okay. We start at 10. This is Mark. I've known him since he was 15 years old, and he's my unofficial third son. I adore this kid. One of my favorite people in the entire world. You know I have a YouTube channel? That's what I hear, yeah. but I'm not a computer guy. That's okay. I'm not on you're computers. on it now. Oh, cool. <laughs> to everyone else who's talked smack about me over the years, hi, I'm finally here. This Karen's going to let me tour the... See you, Ron. Do a tour of the, whatever it is, church. Yeah. That's a nice church. <laughs> yeah. Um, a lot of people that are on this channel had asked me if they could see it better. So Karen said I could come in and show everybody. Yeah. You How know, are you? Eh, you know, living life. Hello. Out of here. Love, right. you. I love you. Love you. Love you. Nice you was in my thoughts. <laughs> you, was, you was well in mine. All right, now I got to take my glasses off so I can see. What I'm seeing. So this, and I said last week, this is some, what, 17-something. Yeah, 1770. Uh, and this is where I was talking about the pews. Aren't those beautiful? And they had those so that they could put in like a wood box or something to keep it, it warm. Yeah, that's why it was there. Okay. <laughs> um, so the family all brought their own little heater, wood box. And kept it. Cameron, did that bother you? Yeah, well, yeah, yeah, just, well just because somebody went. Oh, that's so it. funny. So this is gorgeous, is what it is. And then look at the the balconies. We'll go up so you can see it. Isn't that beautiful? And the tulip above the above their back. That's like works as a ceiling. So that the yes, so that, yes. What Cameron's talking about is with my hand. Is that? It's a sound dampener so that the speaker's words don't get lost. A tulip? Pastor Dave always calls it a pineapple, but I think it's a I don't know, it could be either one. <laughs> Why can't it just be a sound dampener? <laughs> All right, can we go upstairs? All right, I'm going to... Want me to film your butt? <laughs> I'm filming your feet. All the windows, too, down there, and the pews all have names on them. Oh! So for the people who actually pay for different yeah. things. Yeah. So Go ahead. That's where the choir sits. I don't know if you can hear Karen, that's where the choir sits. <laughs> it is so beautiful. And what Karen said is all the windows have um, plaques from people who have done donations for the upkeep of the... And you know, so many of you talked about how churches are dying, and this one is not. This is a thriving church who's doing okay financially yeah. and has young people coming in. Yeah. Um, mostly because of early benefactors, though, the people that first started this were like probably wealthy families, you know, yeah. for the area. And um, they were investors. Yeah. But don't you, you do have young people coming in here. We do, but we need more. Yeah. There, there's more older people than younger. Yeah. It was funny. Somebody um, was working here last week and said to their, you know, their mother they needed to talk to Karen, and she said, he didn't know who she was, and she said, well, go talk to the older lady with white hair, and he just stopped and looked at her like, every single person here is an older lady with white hair. 
I would I want something like that for the house. I just think that's the prettiest thing. All right, and this is what? The Ives room. I V E S. Ives room. Look at this. Isn't it amazing? <gasps> oh. And then a lot of um, pieces in there, the pewter and yeah. different things. The, the globe that, oh, I just read the story of that. Yeah. Hey, wait a minute. I'm, I'm filming my face. It's not easy. <laughs> okay, the globe. Go ahead. Oh, well, one of the pastors way back used that and the desk that's over there. Um, in there. They had built a special little study for him. In a, a room in the corner there. Even the furniture, and I'm not an, an old furniture or antique person, but it's just outstanding. Anybody of you that know what we're looking at here, I'm sure you're enjoying it immensely. The old Bible. From when do we know? Um, I don't know. I just thought it said Sports Illustrated. <laughs> <laughs> that would be wrong. Scripture. Oh, well, it's old. Yeah, it's beautiful. <laughs> and originally the church didn't have the second floor. It was just like a meeting house yep. type thing, and then they added the second floor and this part in bed. Like, they actually read the Declaration of Independence from him. Originally? Um, yeah, um, originally they had read it in different places, yep. all over the place, and for this area, this is where they read it. Wow. Yeah. Jesus. Yeah. This, this was a piece that Mark found at an auction in a container, a little metal container um, that it was um, like slaves would carry it to say that they were free oh. people. Yeah, imagine that. So yeah. they framed it. Look at the beautiful windows. Yeah, how yeah, big. Out to the cemetery. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, I did do. Oh, okay. Did you see the video I did? I, uh, I did yeah, my one... mom and dad's grave oh, and Dawn's no, grave. Didn't. Okay, yeah. I have to look. Yeah. yeah, I think I did. And I talked about how when we had to trim the... I don't think you the did. You were old already. I had to, yeah, yeah. yeah. And how these would all sink, sink and fall in. I was there one day when Dad's one more. Went down? Yeah. I feel so important. Look at this. And this is that sound dampening pineapple tulip, whatever <laughs> God, that's beautiful. Yep, and yeah. then these are where the slaves used to be placed. Really? Yeah. The, yep, that, that was their seating. Why? I don't know. Did you hear that? That Karen said these up front were where they, they used to have the slaves sit. Or the servants. Or servants. Or servants yeah. Yeah. But yeah, I, just I wonder that. about slaves because do you remember, and I don't know if there's any history on this, how this was supposedly part of the Underground Railroad. I had a... I just got home from the church and I went grocery shopping. Quick grocery shopping story. It was much busier than I anticipated today, but there's a woman ahead of me in the checkout and the checkouts were quite long. Probably my age, maybe a couple years older, but very self-absorbed. She was texting and not emptying her basket and not moving along. And I very nicely said, can I help? empty can I help you empty your basket um, and she didn't respond right away because she was texting and I emptied the basket for her and she mentioned she was texting her niece very nice but the checkout girl is saying you know pay for a plastic no do you want this um, and no none it didn't matter what she said she wasn't getting an answer she finished ringing it all up gave her the total and the woman looked up surprised gets out now she's going to get out her credit card which always amazes me I've always said because my ex-husband was like this you didn't get out your credit card or your wallet because it was a surprise you had to pay so you know and there's five or six people behind me she can't figure out how to do the credit card she put it in wrong and she kind of looks around she puts it in wrong she looks around the cashier is just stare, doing a stare down she's a younger girl and she doesn't, she's just standing there with her card. So I said, let me help you. The black thing goes down. Oh, 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 did it. Uh, it says, you know, food. And she's just looking at it. I punch it in for her. Um, I said, okay, put in your pin. So I look away. No, you have to press enter. So she does it, but it's a card with only so much on it. So the checkout girl says, you still have a balance of, you know, $75. Well, I have, to, it's on there. She said, then run it again. Now, we had just been through this. 
and she looks around. So I said, let me help you. Did it again. Did the whole thing. Put your pin in. That's fine. She's still texting. And she's done. And, you know, the checkout says, you know, did you need any stamps or trash bags today? Nothing. She goes to walk away and leaves her pocketbook. And I said, excuse me, do I have to go home with you? You need to take your pocketbook. Oh, ho, ho, ho. If I get that self-absorbed, somebody put me out of my misery or somebody else's misery. It's just disheartening to see that's how older people get a bad reputation because there was nothing wrong with this woman. For those of you who are saying maybe she had some difficulties. No, she was busy texting her niece. Time and a place, folks. Time and a place. <laughs> So anyway, I just got home, put my groceries away. I wanted to show you the bag. Last night, I did a tiny bit more of the deck. Look how nice this looks. Look how crappy that looks. But I did this corner that was so bad. And look, the soffits are gonna end up coming out nicely. So I can work on that as I do the rest. This part of the house is gonna be uh, taken off, so I don't, I'm not gonna bother there, but I'm really pleased that that came out pretty good. So I'm going to sit and have lunch. I don't even know if I'll do any more work this afternoon. This might be a, an afternoon to do nothing. I'll edit this video and I might have the lazy, a lazy rest of the day. Everybody have a great weekend. Hope you're having a good Memorial Day. Take a minute to remember what Memorial Day is all about. And thank you to all who have served. You have my undying gratitude and hopefully the gratitude of everyone in your circle.